above Zelda's Royal Academy of Magic. I can only get you as close as this. If people see me as a dragon, they may panic. Then I'll use my flight magic to make a soft landing from here. Be careful. Yes, Mom. Off I go. So this is Zelda's Royal Academy of Magic, the place where my new life begins. Entrance examination venue for Zelda's Royal Academy of Magic. That is, if I pass today's exam. But who do I give the examination ticket to? Can I just go in without permission? No. Wait. If I go in there without permission, and there is a problem... Anyone who trespasses is scum. Zell just doesn't want scum here. I couldn't face my mother again. I'll be stranded, with no place to go. Is there something the matter? I'm looking for the examination registration desk, but there's no one here, so... That's exactly right. Huh? That's because this is just the entrance gate. Registration is at the main entrance, which is behind there. So it's okay for me to go in without permission? Did you get the wrong idea? Well, <laughs> sort of. Oh dear, you're from the countryside, right? I'm from a remote mountain area, so this is all new to me. I thought so. In that case, I'll guide you around. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. So we are both in the same classroom, right? Our exam numbers are just one apart. It almost feels like fate that we met out there. Written examination first. We will now begin the written exam. Please pass back the papers to the person behind you. Thanks for showing me around. We should help others when they are in need, right? Let's both do our best. Uh, okay. Let's begin. After the first exam is over. Hey, how did it go? As I thought, the exam was a little nerve-wracking. Certainly, the atmosphere is completely different from home, isn't it? It was mostly helpful because the questions were mostly similar to the ones in the practice notes for all six subjects. Huh? What? Wait a minute. What? For this exam, there are two required subjects and two of four elective subjects. You only had to work on four subjects, right? Why did you do all six subjects? I was a little nervous and did not want to miss anything, just in case. Is it really okay to solve extra things just in case? Come to think of it, I was so nervous that I ended up reviewing it five times. You've got, you got to be kidding. I wanted to look at it a few more times, but time ran out. Well, for now, let's take the swordsmanship exam. Hey, you seem a little down. Is everything okay? Thank you very much. Okay, next. Sword examination. Second test. Even though I messed up in the written exams, it looks like there's a system for scoring the fights. Normally, it's impossible to win, so I have to do it somehow. For the swordsmanship test, there are several competition fields, and it looks like they are allocated based on examination numbers, huh? Well, I'm over there, so I'll see you later. Sounds good. Thank you in advance. Is he bringing his own sword? Huh? It's so shiny. It's not just the students. Did everyone bring their own sword? No way. Does that mean... It was an unspoken agreement. Of course I brought my own sword. People who don't understand such things are trash. Sal just doesn't need you if you can't do such a simple thing. Next to the ring. It's, it's over. over. Hey, what's wrong with you? I forgot my sword. You're a forgiving teacher, right? Don't worry. There are prepared loner swords to use. Go to the rack and take whatever one you need. Understood. I was just testing them out, though. I wonder if all the loner swords are like this. It won't be usable anymore. Excuse me? Can I make one? 
a sword for testing purposes. I don't see anything suitable for fighting properly, so... It's not like it's against the rules. Thank you. He's one of those, huh? There's always someone who wants to exploit a loophole in the rules. At least he can say he tried, and I didn't inhibit him in any way when he fails the test. Well, since I got permission, if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it right with a superbly sturdy sword. Then I guess it's a combination of those two things then. But what? This wind? No, it's magic power. No way. It can't be. Well, he did it. He really made it. Am I dreaming? What's up with this examinee? Okay, both the weight and sturdiness feel good. I don't know what's going on, but you're ready to go, right? Alright, let's start the match. Then, thank you in advance. In addition to good movement, his speed is also excellent. I knew there was something different about him from the other examinees, but can you withstand my full strength? That went a lot faster for me than I thought it would. Speaking of which, I wonder if that small guy has already finished. He couldn't have put all his efforts into studying after all. He might be struggling just to try and scrape through. I soared. I only, I only had, had two, two more payments, payments left. Sorry, I was trying to be careful. The examiner was both impressed and unimpressed. What on earth did you do? Like I couldn't guess. The moment our swords crossed, the examiner's sword broke. It must, it must have been, have been some, some sort of maintenance thing. thing. You don't think it may be due to something wrong with your sword? I alchemized it and made it on the spot. I didn't do anything strange when I made it. It's just, just an ordinary sword. Huh? Do you make it yourself? Can I see it for a moment? Go ahead. See for yourself. Abby! Sure it is. What? What's with this ridiculously heavy sword? You said you made it, but what on earth is it made of? It's made of orich calm and adamantite alloy. Ori... Calcium? Adam... What is that? I use atomic transmutation alchemy to create an alloy from air, which, theoretically, is the strongest combination of elements. Are you really sure you need to be in school? I have no idea what you just said. What was that boy thinking? A sword made of the most rigid and pure metals. And he just made that so easily. Even if a master craftsman had crafted the sword, it's hard to see how it could snap another sword in half. Theoretically. However, the specific gravity of adamantite is around 15, weighing around 300 grams. That's 15 times the weight of gold. If it is truly made of orichalcium adamantite alloy, then the weight of the sword would be... About 65 kilograms, isn't it? Stop swinging it around! Not towards our heads! Well, the match is yours. Go to the next exam. No, but I think it was a mistake that the sword broke, so if possible, I'd like a rematch. I'm not going to have a rematch with you. I couldn't afford it. Just get the hell out of here already. And so came lunch. Sergius Royal Academy of Magic. To be in the place I've always admired. Feels like a dream. At the Historical Magic Academy, the highest peak in both name and reality are the graduates. They are all making brilliant achievements in science and society. If only I could be admitted here, I keep wondering if I'll truly achieve my dream. Uh... It's okay. I'm fine, believe me. You're the only one who's ever beaten the examiner. You did it in broad daylight. I know. It wasn't just a test of winning and losing, was it? I did it, and I may get kicked out. I didn't want to dent their reputation. I'm going to have a terrible score. Okay, well, let's make up for it in the next one. Here, have some food. The next exam is the magic test, right? Yeah, 
I believe there are two different testing methods. Hitting the target is the attack magic test and creating magical items is the creative test, right? That's right. I think I'm going to play it safe and go with the attack magic test. I'd practice that. I think I'll go for the creative test. Well, it's not like I'm particularly skilled at making magical items, though. Yeah, sure. You're not going for the creative points, are you? There's no way I'm going to miss out on the maximum 30 extra credit points. I have to make a comeback. Is that the right choice for you, though? Why would you say that? Sure, there's a point system, but isn't the score left up to the discretion of the examiner? They may make it difficult for a high score intentionally. Even taking that into account, I think I'm on the right track. I have to take the chance of getting as many points as possible. If your mind is all set, I'll not say anything more about it. But try not to make an item that does not make sense, okay? Like that sword. That was different. I'll do something that goes well with this exam. What kind of person do you really think I am? Well, from here on out, we have to go to different places, so... You know, you haven't told me your name yet. I'm Cecilia. Despite everything, this has been fun. I'm Hadar. I'm happy Cecilia talked to me so soon when I needed help. I hope we're in the same class. Classmates, huh? I guess you've already accepted that you passed. Hey, don't make it sound weird. This is the magic exam. But this room is for magic item creation. Third exam. Magic. There are so few people again this year. Why in the hell does this keep happening? I really wanted more people to come, even if it was only one more. I even pushed through a unique extra credit system. I even went as far as to directly ask the director. Was that for the sake of attracting more candidates? Or for your own popularity? Um. Now, once again, let me explain the details for the exam. You have one hour using the magical stone that had been distributed to make the magical item. That is all. Other materials are available in the back of the classroom. Feel free to use them as you like. I can't say the quality of the magic stones are good. There's only so much you can make with this. But on the other hand, if you think about it, if I were to create the most advanced magical item possible with this stone, not only could I get a high score, but I could also receive a boost in creative points. It may be difficult to make up for all the mistakes I've made in the swordsmanship exam, but there's still a chance for success. I'm sure of it. And school life will be fun. Let's begin. I will definitely pass. In the staff room the next day. <laughs> you sure this is the student? Yes, definitely. His face is burned into my memory. For the written exam, the passing rate is 65%, and he had perfect scores in all four subjects. He even answered the two subjects that were optional, and I had to score full marks in them as well. As for the swordsmanship exam, he alchemized a sword made of an adamantum alloy from nothing but air. And then he swung around with only one hand. What the? Is he really a human child? Listen up, both of you. Now what? No way. This magical item. I found this in yesterday's magical item exam, made by one of the candidates. It's a graphic manipulation device. Can you believe it? I thought it was just a theoretical thing. It's definitely that, kid. I want to give this candidate 10 extra creative points over the usual three. That okay? You can score 100 or 100,000 points, whatever you want. They're a special scholarship student anyway. Thus, Hadar's grades became the greatest since the establishment of Zelgris Academy. And with that unprecedented score, Hadar passed with flying colors. However, the person in question is unaware until the announcement. Why did you send me there? You probably applied for me on a whim, didn't you? If they fail me, I'll be thrust into a life of retaking exams. I'll never leave home. To my wish be coming true? He was worried about something he didn't need to be. 
but that's another story.